Hey guys, Science1324 here. Um, I've just been playing around with my uh, vacuum chamber again. I just finished attaching the uh, vacuum gauge from my luminoscope to it. Um, anyways, while I was messing around with the high voltage from the luminoscope, I decided to unplug the ground and see what would happen. And I think I inadvertently made a uh, neon light. So let me go ahead and turn on the high voltage here and I'll start cranking up the voltage and you'll be able to see that tube start lighting up once we get high enough voltage here. I gotta make sure I touch metal, or else it'll charge me up, and then I shock anything I touch. So, voltage is going up. Oh, do you see it? It's going down to ground out through my uh, vacuum pump there. Let's see if I can get it stay on for a little bit longer here. But it looks like a neon sign though, right? Or is that just me? Am I just crazy? I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, there we go, there we go. Well, that's weird, isn't it? Like, you can see a little bit of something there, but it's most prominent through the tube. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Surprised it hasn't flipped the. Uh, it has overcurrent protection. I'm surprised that hasn't flipped yet. It's usually, it's flipped by now. But for some reason, it hasn't. But I mean, that's cool though. I just wanted to show you guys that. Thought you might be interested in seeing that. Oh, geez, I can feel the high voltage actually coming out of there onto my arm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Turn that high voltage off there really quick. Just a little bit of remaining charge in there, it looks like. Um, I've got my vacuum pump hooked up to this now, so I can turn that on and off through my switch panel. I've got a bunch of other stuff connected to my switch panel too, but I usually have a master off just to be safe. But anyway, yeah, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that, and I haven't put up a video in a while, so decided to make another video for you. Um, I did have CyberX, I think it was you that was asking me when I was going to put up my big rocket. Um, I should be putting it up here hopefully soon. Um, there is a teacher at my old high school that actually wants me to bring it in and show her students, uh, before I set it off. So, um, as soon as I do that, I will launch it and I will film it and I will post it on here for you guys to see. So, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you like this kind of stuff, so you can stay updated um, with any new projects or anything I put up. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I was going to show you. Um, so I am building a uh, laser engraver. So I've got some driver motors here and an Arduino Uno, um, and these are just the uh, motors out of some CD drives. Do, 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 do. And basically, it just controls those. I've got some software. Um, I'll put a link in the description to it. I found it on Instructables, so I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in making, uh, making it too. I just haven't finished the uh, hardware portion of it yet. Software, I've almost got working, so. But anyways, yeah, just want to show you guys that too. So anyways, guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.